Move is a programming language based on Rust that is used for smart contracts. It was developed by Facebook Meta uh, on their project DM, which was Libra previously, and right now it was adopted by Aptos and Sui. Those two are big chains that, uh, well, Aptos already launched on mainnet, we're still waiting for Sui, um, and there are re really a lot of people interested in how to learn about Move and how to start. So. I already did a comparison between uh, Move and Rust uh, versus Python uh, in my previous video. In this one, I'm just going to focus just on Move and how to start. Basically, there are really no courses online that you can find. This probably will be the first video ever to cover how to start with Move. Uh, and I'll be going through some documentation. So the best way to start, in my opinion, is actually going through Aptos, uh, Ap Aptos documentation right now because they really have this great tutorial uh, for developers how to start with uh, Move and how to create your first NFT, your first uh, decentralized application, your first coin. So this is really the first thing you should do. Of course, all the links will be down below, so you won't have to search much. Uh, I will put the link to all the all the uh, all the stuff you you see here. So first thing first, uh, creating your NFT uh, and running it. Uh, that should be the standard way in any kind of uh, curriculum for developers, uh, be it for uh, for Ethereum or Aptos in this case. So. Uh, as I've mentioned, uh, Move itself is based on Rust, so you see similar kind of structures uh, here, in, uh, here in Move. Uh, so if you've coded in, a, uh, in Rust previously, you won't really have any problems with uh, jumping onto the Move bandwagon. Uh, so this is how it works. Uh, yeah, I won't be going with, really within the code. Uh, I really recommend the tutorial. I think everything is explained pretty well. Uh, what I would recommend doing in the beginning is doing the first, uh, the, the most important things, meaning running your first NFT and creating your first coin. Those are the two standard things you can do on any kind of blockchain and understanding how that works with Move uh, is the best way to do it. Moreover, you can already deploy that on Aptos, either on testnet or devnet or mainnet, you can already do it. So if you, are fast, if you learn that fast, then probably you will be one of the first movers into the ecosystem, which is of course great. Same thing goes for SWE. So going into SWE, they actually, the tutorial is somewhat, somewhat less detailed. However, they have a great guide to different move resources that you can go to. So they have this website called, in the docs called Why Move uh, and why you should use uh, move uh, programming language to create uh, smart, uh, smart contracts and they explain everything and also they give resources to, for example, the podcast on Zero Knowledge About Move, uh, they give the link to a Move book, a bunch of documentations, a bunch of examples. Uh, they have also this comparison between Move and Solidity, uh, the one I did in my, uh, in my previous video. So all that is really great. Uh, also, if you click on um, uh, writing smart contracts with SWE move. Uh, they have pretty much similar uh, documentation to what Aptos did, a little bit less detail, but also you can start uh, installing the, the SWE and then uh, trying to, uh, to deploy the move smart contract onto, onto SWE, onto the DevNet, Testnet. I think they have Testnet right now uh, to get it going. Uh, so those are, this is the second thing, why move and a bunch of resources that you can find here. Uh, this is really, uh, really recommended for you to look at. Uh, one of those things that I mentioned is this tutorial, a step-by-step -step guide through writing a module uh, with move. And going into this tutorial, you basically can go directly to the repository, GitHub repository of the move language, and you'll be able to see uh, also a bunch of things. Uh, what they do in this tutorial is basically they uh, create uh, a coin and they go really step by step through how to do it. So if you want to create your own coin, then definitely go through that. It's very similar to what's already in the Aptos documentation. Uh, but basically they will uh, explain to you how uh, move deals with uh, with different structures. Uh, so this is really cool. Uh, 
finally, other things that you want, might want to check out is uh, the Origin Byte NFT protocol. This is another standard for creating uh, NFTs on, on SWE this time. Uh, and they have this uh, tutorial for creating NFTs and explaining NFTs, how they work with Move. Uh, so if you went already through Aptos uh, NFT guide, then go into Origin Byte NFT protocol. I will put the link down below uh, and try to understand what they, they are doing here. Finally, uh, there is a Starcoin guide. Uh, so Starcoin is a move language uh, blockchain that was launched already actually a couple of years ago. Uh, they did a change at some point to move and so they're like f much more advanced. They are proof of work uh, blockchain and they also have a guide for the developers. Uh, so it might be very interesting for you to look at. Uh, I think it's that they have those advanced topics about NFTs uh, and they have uh, they they explained a little bit how nfts work on starcoin uh, which again is a move it's a blockchain based on move uh, which is really cool okay so this is basically it for the for the for the resources i found so far which are which basically will allow you to create your nft create your coin deploy that create a dap around that uh, and that should be fine because we're in this early stage of people just jumping into uh, jumping into move, jumping into Aptos, Sui, uh, playing around with uh, Starcoin as well. Uh, there will probably other blockchains coming along the way using the move language. Uh, so if you want to be one of the first, definitely uh, try uh, try uh, going through the uh, through the documentation. Try going through this guide. Uh, it's it's really cool, pretty well explained. You'll be able to do everything. Uh, by yourself. Also, let me know what you created in the comments. Happy to interact with uh, that. Uh, if, if that's on the test net and probably other viewers will be happy to see that as well. Let me know if you have any questions. S subscribe to the channel for more crypto updates and general tutorials and see you in the next episode.